Welcome to the Outer Worlds, it's Abyss, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to unlock the Peace in Our Time trophy slash achievement. Now in order to unlock it, you need to broker peace between the Iconoclast and the MSI, plus as a bonus, I will show you when to save so that you can unlock another trophy slash achievement called Monarch Abides. Now remember to hit that like button and subscribe to help support the channel. Okay, so I'm going to explain each section on their own, so I will be jumping in and out of this video at certain points. The two trophy slash achievement are part of the main story mission called Radio Free Monarch. To start, you will need to go to Devil Peak Summit and talk to the broker. He will task you to stop the two radio broadcasts from the Iconoclast and the MSI. Okay, first you will go to Stellar Bay and talk to the MSI leader, Sanjar. He will task you to go to the arms building to get the Bolt 52 cartridge and delete the information from the terminal while you're there. If your lock skills is at 35, you can lock pick the front door, head upstairs and interact with the intercom. With 35 skill points in engineering, you can tell the runner to turn the handle upwards, otherwise you'll have to find a body with a key. Do not kill the runner. I don't know if that will affect anything, but just don't do it. When the door opens, just pick up the Bolt 52 cartridge, then go downstairs, interact with the terminal to delete all the information. Now that we have completed everything for MSI, head back to him and tell him the news. He has one last task for you to do, but this one is quick and simple. I will show you on the map where the UDL lab is so that you can quickly go inside, interact with the terminal, and transfer the files. Then just head back to him and give him the UDL data and he will turn off the broadcast and part one is done. I will be back for the next section. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it.
Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I've finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the Reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. All right, so now it's time to go to Amber Heights Crossroad and talk to Graham. You will need to complete his task in order to get him to turn off the broadcast. This part is very important to make sure you complete a couple things for Zora and agree with her during any conversation. During the conversation, if you have 35 skill points in science, you can select that. He will ask you to meet with the MSI supplier to pick up the printing press. Make sure you select Zora suggested extra food and medicine. Okay, this place is called the Bayside Terrace Ruin. Talk to the guy at the gate and select let me handle it to get past him. Use the intercom and talk to the lady to get the printing press. Now this is very important, so select Zora suggested some extra food. This is one of the three tasks that you need to complete for Zora. Head back and talk to Graham. Next task is to fix the printing press, but before you do that, you have a second task for Zora to complete. You need to help the Van Noids outside the building. When you talk to them, select, once you get out safe, I'll see about the press. Now this is very important and simple to complete. Just go around the corner, loot the medic, and then head back to the Van Noids and then give them the medical supplies. This will complete the second out of three tasks for Zora. After this, just go inside the building and interact with the terminal to install the rollers. Head back and talk to Graham, which will unlock the pirate radio trophy slash achievement. So I'll be back for the next section. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. I don't know what your angle is, but... All right. Be sure to tell her how hard it was to fix the generator. You know, after you're done fixing it. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. What do you want delivered? I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. I'm telling you the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain.
Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. The print... Oh, no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Vanoys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The hell's the sense in recruiting if you're just gonna get them killed? I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Yes! You're damn right he could have, but he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Vernois are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. Nioka, you're a sight right now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? Yeah, I know, I know, but that's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. But we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out and Jensen can't see straight. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. My professional medical advice is to get out of here as soon as possible. Bleeding might kill him, but rats definitely will. How many years of medical school went into that word of wisdom? Sorry, sorry. We appreciate the assist. We just need to find our medics so we can do exactly as you say. Get the hell out. Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. Any luck out there? Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. Excellent. Did you find the Vanoys? Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. 
For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. All right, so right after you just unlocked that trophy slash achievement pirate radio, now the third task for Zora is available. Talk to her outside and she will give you a new side mission called Sucker Bait. But we are going to complete this later on in the video. I just want to give you a heads up because it does not need to be completed now, but we will complete it later on. So I'll be back for the next section. The MSI bigwigs living here. Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby rap nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. Appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, it'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the taros. All right, finally we get to head back to the broker and tell him that you've completed his task. He will ask you to cycle the power outside. Right after that, you will see a UDL ship crash. The next goal is to head to that ship and retrieve the gunship targeting module. Go to the gunship crash site on the map and retrieve it. So after that, I will be back to explain more. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem, in the end? Does it matter? Job's done. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Testing one, two, check, check. Sweet stars, but that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. All right, so now it's time to go to Stellar Bay, but before you talk to Sanjar, make a save so that we can unlock both trophy slash achievement. 
right now you are going to do the quick one and in my opinion this is the bad one first this one is called monarch abides for this you will need to give sanjar the targeting module then go outside to defeat graham and zora afterwards you will unlock the trophy slash achievement as soon as those two are defeated then you will just simply reload your save so that we can do the other trophy slash achievement so i'll be back for that part excellent at last we have what we need i wouldn't get excited just yet sir it looks like the iconoclasts followed you I have word they're gathering in the ruins outside of town. Ooh, I just got goosebumps. You really know how to sell that, don't you? Bit says these guys get squashed by the board within a month. Alright, so you just saw the trophy slash achievement unlock. Now it is time to reload your save to complete the other trophy slash achievement called Peace in Our Time. Just talk to Sanjar and then select the first option. You basically will tell him about Graham's second in command, Zora. He will ask you to get a review on her. Just go to Cascadia and then interact with the terminal to retrieve the review. Give him the review and then he will ask you to set up a meeting. Alright, so I'll be back for the next section. They're all mad! And what's more, they left us! I don't see any way for us to work together. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantapillar, and my will is my cocoon. I can emerge and become whatever I wish. You too? He has a point, sir. And it's not all bad. Supposing you're right, who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. Excellent. Her review would be in the Rizzo offices in Cascadia. Bring it to me, and I'll see if she's qualified. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. 
Well, it seems like she, uh... She's actually very qualified. If it weren't for her, I'd wager the Iconoclast would have died off a while ago. I wasn't expecting to say this, but if you can put her in charge and convince her to agree to a meeting, I'd be willing to discuss terms. All right, so now it is time to complete Zora's third task, which is the side mission called Sucker Bait. For this, you will have to go to the abandoned relay station, interact with the terminal, and then once inside, loot the old data cartridge. Just bring that back to Zora, which I will be back for that part. Okay, all three tasks for Zora is completed, so go back and talk to her. Give her the data cartridge that you found. Now you're going to need to leave and come back in order to proceed on. Head to where Graham is and you will talk to Zora right outside. You need Zora to be in charge, so for this you're going to need to defeat Graham. Afterwards, talk to Zora and as long as you have 55 skill points into Persuade, you will be able to set up the meeting with the two. I will leave that conversation in full so you know exactly what to select. As soon as the conversation ends, you will unlock the Peace in Our Time trophy slash achievement. Other than that, I hope you all enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel, and I will see you next time. Yeah, he did. He really did. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? Look, I need to think. Plan. Figure out if I should talk to him or shoot him. Or both. Just don't give him the module yet. Give me a little time. I'll meet you at his place. Captain. We should chat. Graham's got the right idea. But he isn't the right guy to execute it. I don't even think he's motivated by philosophism anymore. I think he's just guilt-ridden. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I keep going over and over it in my head, and the only way I see the Iconoclast surviving is we depose him. Yeah. Hell, most of our people listen to me already. I'm going to confront him. Can I count on your support? Okay. Deep breaths. This is what's best, Sora. Time to save Monarch. Captain, you must be back with the access codes to our new ship. Graham, we need to talk. We have work to do. This isn't the time for one of our spats. What? Zora? You're running the Iconoclast into the ground, and I don't believe it'll get better after we take Stellar Bay. The troops take orders from me already, and you've... You've brought me as far as you can down the eternal path. It's time to step down. The troops? Listen to you. This isn't an army. They aren't soldiers. They're believers. Followers. They pick up a gun because you tell them to, not because they want to. And you, Captain, after all you've done for me, for us, you throw behind this mutinous blasphemer? I built this movement from the ground up. 
have brought freedom to Monarch, and all these years later, we're still free. I joined because I believed that you were in it for the Iconic class. That you wanted nothing more than to bring freedom to Halcyon. That you were selfless. But... I know the truth now, Grim. I know what happened in Amber Heights. You didn't start this movement because you wanted to save us. You wanted to save yourself. No. I've spent years atoning for my sins. I've studied, meditated, taught. I built the Iconoclasts so that any man could cast away his past for a fresh start. That's your answer, Graham? You needed a fresh start? After all those innocent lives? I'm sorry. I believed in you once. I did. But it's over. Stand down. I won't. What happened back then was a mistake, and the colony has moved on. This is my movement. These are my people. If you want to lead them, you'll have to kill me. Yeah, I... I had hoped. Please, don't make me do this, Graham. If this is where my path ends, I accept it. But as long as I draw breath, I will not abandon them. So be it. Returning! <laughs> Well, Captain, here we are. Killed a lot of people in the name of the Iconoclasts, and it never feels right. But this time, it's especially wrong. You've got the... Void held me. I'll never remember what that thing is called. The device from the ship. Do you have it? thought about it, but I think we're too far gone. Pulling Carlotta's support was crossing a line. You know, Captain, I never thought about that. Maybe he could be taught the eternal truth. Spread the message from within the corporations. All right. If he's willing to talk, I'll give him a chance. Well then. I've got to prepare a few just-in-case measures. But when you're ready, let's meet at the old OSI church outside Stellar Bay. Hey, thanks for coming. I wish I'd had more time to prepare a proper analysis on the costs and benefits of your proposed union, but uh, I suppose we'll have to... improvise. Gotta admit, I really thought I was walking into a trap here. I'm ready. If it were, I wouldn't be standing here all vulnerable-like. Sanjar, Stellar Bay's got food and walls. And my people need both. If you'll have us, we're willing to share the space. Do you have any idea what that would cost? Why, drawing up the budget alone is going to take weeks.
Not good enough. I need to move a fair amount of my people into the city. We need shelter, Captain. Suppose some of our healthier folk could offer aid. Some of us need to stay in the city proper, though. Well, I'll be damned. If you two can work together, maybe there's some hope for this place after all. Truly a compromise? I'm not sure I'd ever have heard as much from Graham. Graham was a murderous fiend. And I'd be shocked if you didn't already know that. This feels like one of those times when everyone at headquarters but me is laughing at something, but you two aren't laughing. Amber Heights, you hallhead. Ten years ago, Graham had all those people killed. What? That's not possible. Even for him, that's going too far. But that means... I had no idea, I swear. Look, we were both fed up with corporate leadership, but I, I never guessed he'd do something like that. I think I believe him. He's just dumb enough to mean it. You can't take bureaucrats at their word. You back someone into a corner like this, and they'll say anything to get out of it. I... Okay. Okay. You're right. Sorry. It'll take me a while to get over losing Graham. You know, I felt the same way years ago, when he first left. You know, there was something magnetic about him that lets you ignore the things you didn't want to see. But surely you know what that's like. Yeah, I... I do. Okay. If you're willing to house and supply some of us, I'll have our more capable soldiers help out. As am I. Oh, I can feel my blood pressure lowering already. Thanks for coming out, Sanjar. I, uh, guess I'll see you at Stellar Bay. Gotta be honest, Captain. Never thought I'd see the day. You've done a good thing for Monarch here.